What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the top five squeeze stocks in the market right now. Before I get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off with stock number five, Pure Cycle Technologies, ticker is PCT. So on Wednesday, so at the time of doing this video, it is Wednesday evening. So take that into consideration. But Wednesday, it did go down 3.71% over the last one year, down 7.61%. And then 2024, it has done relatively good, up 40.99%. This is what they do. So you can always pause it and read through it as far as this so seasonality historically over the last three years april seems to be a down month down 2.5 percent so take that again into consideration if you want any of these stocks make sure you guys do your own due diligence as well all these stocks have been vetted to ensure that they haven't done any recent reverse stock splits because that does typically skew ortex so speaking on ortex so right now i am going based off of the short score so the higher the number the the likelihood of a squeeze happening and that short score is comprised of utilization number of shares being shorted and cost to borrow so it's kind of a everything that you need to know ultimately but utilization is 95.25 short score is 95.05 42.29% of the free flow is being shorted and then on Wednesday shorts did increase about 31,000 shares give or take and cost to borrow average is 24.19% so this is stock number five let me know your thoughts on that moving on to stock number four desktop metals ticker is DM on Wednesday it went up 7.69% and keep in mind Wednesday was a bloodbath because of CPI so for it to close in the green I think that is kind of a good thing but beside the point over the last one year down 50.22 percent and in 2024 it is up 49.13 percent desktop metals has been on this list in the past so it has uh, the ability to squeeze essentially, but this is what they do. So you can always pause it and read through it again in case you are curious. As far as seasonality over the last four years, in April, it does yield a negative 9.4. May seems to be pretty horrific as well, down 15.4%. But as far as this, so short score is 96.35, utilization is 88.29, 28.83% of the free flow is being shorted, and that works out to be 65.36 million shares. Wednesday shorts did increase 627,000 shares, and as you can kind of see over this last little bit, surprisingly shorts have been returning. It was about 32% short interest, or almost 33, to where it is now. So obviously shorts have been slowly kind of returning some shares over this last month month and a half so obviously that has really helped the stock price over the last little bit moving on to stock number three so this one right here is torrid holdings ticker curv Wednesday it went down 6.86% over this last one year, down 3.1%, year to date down 2946 So not necessarily the best performer, this is what they do, so apparel retail. But one thing I just wanted to share with you, if you are looking for a lot of good information all in one location, such as press releases, SEC filings, transcripts from fireside chats, from earnings, and plus if you're ever curious on if a company has done a recent reverse stock split or just earnings, everything, take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium for a seven day free trial, completely uh, one of the best things that I would recommend if you are maybe curious on to better your investing uh, overall, definitely take advantage of that so link in the description below and also the comments but moving on so torrid is a short score 98.08 percent utilization is 90.8 on wednesday surprisingly even though it did go down quite a lot shorts did return about 13.1 thousand shares 16.92 percent of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 1.92 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is a little bit lower in comparison to the previous trading day so 70.29 percent moving on to stock number Number two, so that is Rani Therapeutics Holdings, tickers R-A-N-I. Wednesday, it went up 4%. 
this is what they do so pharmaceuticals based out of san jose and as far as over the last one year it is down 23.81 percent 2024 has been doing relatively good so 25.3 percent short score is 98.33 on Wednesday, shorts returned about 10,000 shares, so not all that much, especially considering 1.81 million shares overall are being shorted. 13.46% of the free flow is being shorted, and then utilization is 97.18%. Cost of bar average is very high, so 434.67%. Versus a lot of the other companies where like shorts have been slowly getting out, with this company, shorts have been really slowly getting in. So it is is almost near the record high short interest so again something to kind of consider let me know your thoughts on rani on a side note if you do own any of these companies let me know why are they good fundamental companies to own or are they just more squeeze plays but regardless stock number one is this and that is Immunity Bio Inc., tickers IBRX. Wednesday, it went down 3.25% over this last one year, up 277%. So that's very positive, of course. In 2024, up 18.73%. This is what they do. So biotech company based out of San Diego. Seasonality, April seems to be a red month, so down 1.3%. But historically, May and June seems to be fairly good. So I don't know if this is one of those ones that maybe you want to keep on your radar, essentially. This is a little bit more of a breakdown. So $4.17 billion for a market cap. But short score is 98.82%. Utilization is 100%. On Wednesday, shorts returned about 51,000 shares. 37.94% of the free flow is being shorted. And 55.36 million shares overall are being shorted. And then cost of borrow average is 64.58%. So this stock definitely does seem out of all the ones I talked on has probably the best and most robust operation uh, based on what I can see. So let me know your thoughts on the top five squeeze stocks. What other stocks do you feel have the opportunity to essentially squeeze? And again, let me know why. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. One final thing I just wanted to share with you. Make sure you guys take advantage of this promo that I have been sharing with you. Sign up for a new account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and they do give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7. So a $35 total value. So that is a very good return on investment for just throwing $100 at a new account. So take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.